Okay, so this is going to be my review video for Canada Winch's 500 amp Anderson style connector. This is what it looks like. These um, go in here with this tab down so that they ride against that. Drop in here like so, and then you just push them all the way through, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to send these back. My project is a heavy duty winch that I wanted to hook on to my four wheel drive. And I just got on eBay and said, hey, give me the highest amperage connector I can find. It was late at night and this is what I got. And look at those surfaces. Basically it takes two of these and when you put them together they ride like this. As you can see the surface is not really flat. It's going to contact in two places at best. Um, this is a two gauge cable and if you know anything about electricity you know there is not a chance in a million that that is going to haul handle 500 amps. So I contacted the seller, which is Canada Winch, and um, he said he sold hundreds of these things and nobody's complained. But uh, he was going to take care of it and I haven't heard anything back. Now, as comparison, I went ahead and ordered a 350 amp connector. Uh, Anderson style, maybe a genuine Anderson for all I can tell. But it says right on it there, it's got the 350 amps, less than 50 volts. But look at the size difference. And look at the construction difference. Same general design here, this one tells you what the size is. 2 uh, slash 0 is 2 aught, which is a lot bigger than 2 gauge. In fact, this is so big, I can put the whole thing inside of it. But more importantly, look at the machining, the way that the contact area is uh, done, so that when it's together like this, you're getting contact all the way across the front. This allows it to carry uh, more amps. And so you're gonna get contact right here in a line, and contact right here in a line on both of them. So that's 350 amps. If this is 350 amps, how is this 500 amps? I don't know if you can really see that. Uh, this camera ain't the best for this type of work, but it's shiny and it's not flat in this direction. Like this is. If you get the light just right, you can sometimes tell. Anyway, um, I guess it's really a video of me getting uh, screwed over because I was in a hurry, but my defense on eBay, these all look the same size unless somebody takes a, a ruler or uses their hand to uh, give you some perspective. So there it is. If you want connectors to for your winch or to hook up batteries, perhaps doing some of the clever uh, hooking batteries in series and parallel for welding and things like this. Uh, this is the one to get and this is the cheapie to avoid. If you want to find these for, I would say that you might be able to get a 50 amp rating out of this. Uh, when I first looked at it and talked with some welding people, we thought maybe 100 amps, but because of the fact that this is not ground flat like these are, there is really no chance that you're going to get even 100 amps out of them. Probably only about 50. But if you want some cheap 50 amp connectors, these ones would probably work. And uh, I may have these available if uh, Canada Winch uh, does not send me a box or a shipping label to um, send them back to him. So there you have it. The one to get and a silly one to avoid.
Thanks.